Hi, it's the Reiki G, Courtney G. Smith here, and I am back after, I'm so embarrassed for me. I don't even remember the last time I did a book review, um, but it's been a minute and I have honestly missed this space. I've read like at least a book a month um, since my last book review, but I just have been very, very, very bad about um, doing and posting the book reviews. So without further ado, the book that I am going to be reviewing is Palmeiras by Gail Jones. And um, if you haven't watched my previous videos, um, I mentioned that I'm a part of this magnificent book club. Like it is just, it has really changed my life in these just very profound ways. Um, and in the book club, what we do is we get... Um, a selection of books to vote on and the one with the most amount of votes is the book for that month. So I actually, I had voted for Palmeiras and I was very excited when it was selected. Um, it takes place in the 1600s in Brazil on a plantation. Um, so honestly, I didn't read a lot of I didn't read any reviews. I just looked at the synopsis and was very interested. Was just, oh, so I was elated when it was selected um, as the book to read for the month. So what I like to do when I'm reading, because I'm not one of these people who can start out reading big chunks of a book. Like I can't, just the way my brain works. I can't go in saying, okay, today I'm going to read like 50, 60, 70 pages. So generally what I do is I create a schedule based on how many pages and then how many days of the month um, there are before our next book club meeting. So I did all that and initially I was pacing myself, I think at like 20 pages a day because the book is 492 pages. So I'm reading it and it's taking me a minute to get into it, but I was, that's generally how it works with me in books. So I'm like, okay. And then as I'm going along, it hits me that this is taking place on a plantation. Um, And it hit me in a way where I just, reading became very difficult. Um, and it, it took me to a place where I was exhausted. Um, I was a bit angry. Um, and it made me think at any point in history have Afro-Latinos, Afro-Caribbeans, African-Americans, like, have we ever had a moment just to be? Just to be. Just to have our own and be and not be fucked with. Um, and... As I'm reading, and I don't want to give away too much of the book. Like, this is going to be a review just based on how I internalized the book. So, last year, um, actually around this time, it was the end of April 2021, I was in New Orleans. And when I told a friend of mine from college that I was going to New Orleans, he just was like, Court, you got to go visit a plantation. And, you know, I... I'm from Chicago. So it honestly had never even dawned on me to go to a plantation. I mean, I didn't even, I was not even privy to plantation tours. So he told me which one to go to. I was like, okay, I'm going to <laughs> do this. Initially, because I am a Reiki master, I assumed going to this plantation would be energetically very draining. Like I was prepared to be so tired and just not be able to do anything for the rest of the day. Like that is what I had prepared myself for. 
Um, so we get to the plantation and I can say when I first stepped on it, it wasn't like there was just this, you know, big display or feeling of emotions. Um, so that kind of caught me off guard because I was ready for that. I do know as we were going through the tour, I am listening to, because this is still obviously during COVID, so we didn't have an actual tour guide. We had to listen to a recording that took us to the different points in the plantation. And I remember even the narrative. I said, oh, okay. They are really trying hard not to vilify the people who own slaves. I said, okay. And it was even one part where they talked about how if the slaves had to go from like one plantation to the other, you know, the owners would walk with them. And the way that it was said, I was like, this is some bullshit. And then it, it went on to say, you know, how... Um, something about them getting medical attention and, and it was just phrased in a way where it was like oh yeah they you know had their PPO and you know they got attention to and it's like no if they were transporting slaves from point A to point B and the slave died that slave got left um, on the side of the road like I just it just was really it was disturbing so that kind of was very triggering as we're going on this tour. But then we get to this one point and it was, obviously they weren't live heads, but it was artifacts that represented these slaves had revolted. And when they were captured to send a message to the other slaves these slaves were decapitated and their heads were placed on stakes and placed in, in a public viewing um, for the rest of the enslaved people to take note of if you try to take back your power, this is what could happen to you. It was at that point where my uterus had kind of been hurting um, at different points throughout the tour, but it wasn't bad. But after viewing that, my uterus started hurting so bad that I had to sit down. I, it was physically difficult for me to walk. Um, and I'm not gonna go in a brief, <laughs> like a long history um, of my womb health. Like it's, I could write a book about it, but at any rate, I feel a lot in my uterus and in my pelvic area. So I'm sitting down and at this point I realized, okay, I need to take an Advil because this pain is not going away easily and I still need to function. Plus I need to get off this bench at some point and get back on our bus. So I take the Advil and again, I am just in pain. Um, now it is not, I'm not on my cycle. It's not that time of the month. Um, so when we're riding back on the bus, like I had to go to the bathroom so bad, and, you know, nobody wants to go to the bathroom on the bus. Like it's just, you know, but I'm like, okay, I'm about to go in the bathroom on myself. So <laughs> let me just, you know, suck it up and use this bathroom on this bus which is very clean, by the way. I have to give it, you know, definitely give props to the bus company. But when I went to the bathroom, I realized that I had started bleeding. So although being on this plantation did not initially, in the beginning, energetically wear me down and I didn't think, you know, I didn't think anything of it, as we went through the tour, my body went through very distinct changes. Um, and the changes became painful. And that is when I realized at that moment, I was like, that energy from the horrific 
um, things that were done to these humans. These are human beings. These are people. Um, that is when I realized that energy is still on that soil. So to read Palmeiras, um, it took me back to going to that plantation and just knowing the horrific things that were done to women and children and men and, you know, creating this environment where men were just powerless to protect their families. Um, and the one thing I will say, because I have um, done a previous review of Homegoing by Yah Jesse, and in reading that and just comparing the slave experience in that book versus the slave experience in Palmeiras, and I don't generally compare books, but there was just a distinct difference between the two. In Homegoing, despite all of just the pain and the suffering, I felt that there was love. I felt that there was love at different points between various characters. In Palmyra's, it was very difficult for me to see and feel love throughout the book, even at the end of the book where there's a very loving moment. I could not feel the love. Um, and I will say there were times when I would read 50 and 60 pages of Palmeiras because I did fall behind. I have to admit I did not stick to my schedule. Um, and I remember reading one day 50 pages and I think the next 60 and I honestly needed to take a nap. I was mentally, physically, emotionally drained. And that has never happened to me when I read a book. Um, so I will say that Gail Jones did a superb job of just hitting places in your spirit that I just had not anticipated. I, I just, you know, for as, as hard as this book was to take in, um, I think had I not gone to that plantation, I would have had a completely different perspective. But because my body physically went through changes, when I stepped foot on this land, um, it was, it was just difficult to read. So that's my review of Palmeiras by Gail Jones. Um, again, I would love, love, love to get your opinions if you have read this book. So make sure you drop that comment.